<laughs> just beat him. Just beat him. Just beat him. It is Just hard. beat him. No, Wadi is a very good player. Um, hearing a bit of a uh, <laughs> grievance from Masamara, they mm -hmm. always seem sad to play Wadi. God, I really want to know how Pape and Tater Nero is going to end. Well, we're about to find out. I think we'll be able to hear it even if we're watching this next set, which is T versus Wadi, a world-class match to make it out of pool. Honestly, I'd Amazon. be more interested in watching Wadi versus T if I were them because this is a legendary set, but there we go. Wadi just Wadi looking over and like, why aren't you guys watching my set over here? But this is T versus Wadi. And remember, T did take second at Switch Fest, so he's definitely searching for some more blood right here at Memsa. Yeah, and these are two characters that just control a lot of space, restrict your options, and convert into a sick setup that's Stop gonna be it, able to end your life. And T looking to end his life with that forward smash already. Already looking for it. Oh my, did you see that? It got propelled with that fire. And T catching on projectiles. Oh, he went for the tech, just but able to find anything out for that one. He goes for the grab, but Wadi is quick to avoid it himself. All by the crowd, I'm guessing Tater lost. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's Puppy, right? Yeah. Oh, no way. Besides, he's gonna cover the ledge, get a pop soon. Doing so much himself, but he's able to get away with the T. That's the first bell I've seen in a little bit. He wants to go for it, but Wadi, he acknowledges that T's got great projectile play, so he steps back and throws his gyro around himself. Gotta be careful. So T with the bell online. This is the bell pressure that people talk about all the time with T. Look at that. He's walled up with the aerials and he's making sure to go for it as soon as he can. Wadi definitely knows that it, that T has that bell online. So he's gotta be careful. He goes for the F smash, interestingly enough, but here comes the bell. He actually air dodges away. Oh, oh the back of a great color on the jump. Yeah, but he's able to get away with it, but he goes with the down air, but I don't have to find anything. Wadi! He's performing so well. All right, he looks for the gyro set. He doesn't get anything afterwards. Look, no tech chase or anything. I don't have to find anything. Here comes the bell, but then there once more cuts it off. T is having a hard time because he wants to get these projectile setups, yeah. but Wadi throws out his own, and anytime T tries to go in, that Nair is just interrupting any chance he's got. Yeah, like I was saying, these two characters both want to control the entire stage with their setups, the gyro or the... Uh, Hydrant, but Wadi is just faster and better at covering that space in front of him instead of having it be directly above where he wants to cover. And so, in doing so, he's making it so he can't set up at all. Uh, I don't think Wadi was just making that side special to hit, or else he would have committed for more hits on it, but I don't have to find anything. Look at this gyro play from Wadi. He's pressuring him with that Nair as well. The back air barely misses out, but T. T's got to get something down. 149, finally the back air takes it, but with almost max rage. He's so close to death. One up air should be able to take it. And Wadi is quick on the chase, but hits him up with the Hydra. Wild play coming to him right now. T is able to recover. Oh, great tech! Goes for another downer, but doesn't find the second one. <coughs> T right now on the edge of his life right now. Literally, he's off the outside, but it gets the grab. If the clutch factor is to come in right now, this is the prime time, but oh, he gets yeah. the grab. The pile driver right onto the platform. Wadi takes stock number two. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll even the game right up in favor of... All right. Great stuff for T right there, bringing this one back to a very close game, only a 40% difference. But it gets hit up with so many attacks, and here we go, Wadi with his fares himself, but this time T is quick on the chase, hitting up with these aerials. The Galaga. The gyro actually disrupting the Galaga's pattern there. Don't have to find anything, he's going for these tilts, and oh, the Galaga actually beats out the gyro, that's really important for T to know. So Wadi. I, I feel like it depends on the timing. The charge, yeah. Of like both of the things because we saw it literally one interaction before it lose to the gyro. I think it's level one gyro when it's not fully charged up. Get does get beaten out by it. But here we go. Wadi went for a Tomahawk of attempt, but the Nair quickly out of shield. Oh, Wadi's got to be careful. That bell is online. And if that bell hits you, it's going to spell disaster. Oh, it actually clipped right through. That was crazy. The That's down it. throw looks for the up air. Doesn't get it. Great DI there for T. 
Oh, he actually beat out two attempts, and the down smash is able to get him out of the situation. Dash attack, not enough to take it just yet. There's, a, there's like literally no end like frames on that dash attack if you're able to completely complete it. He gets the tilt off, Wadi. 159%, this is such a close match between these two players. He oh lands the God, back the, air. The BI yeah, cross up with the back air sends him the other side of the stage. If they were any closer, Wadi would have lost the game. Yeah, Wadi is so close to death. He gets the dare off as well, T. He's staying alive right now. He uses the size to recover. He gets the grab. Oh. And T was a big comeback right there. I, okay, I feel like T is the only one that can pull off laughing right after he wins the game. Like, you you see someone else laugh when they make that comeback on you. You're mad. You're mad. Yeah, they're, they're like, like, you're laughing at me. This kid is just having a blast. Look at him up there just, you know, like, he seems to genuinely be enjoying the game way too much for anyone to be upset. Like, like if that happens between anyone except T, like you gonna go outside the venue and finish that best oh, I, of five. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying right now. I, I don't know about that. All that, but uh. But no, I'm, I'm saying right now. But T, the incredible play from both players. Wadi had the lead, but it seemed that, that T was slowly adapting to Wadi's wild play and was able to pull it out in the end. Oh. Here come the areas. And there's one thing that I like from Wadi. He's not letting T get those fair strings that we've seen him get multiple times yeah. on a lot of players because Rob is definitely vulnerable to it. He's able to get away with it. And what I love from T is he actually is, is able to use the gyro to his own advantage. He's trying to use that water pushback as well. So he gets oh, trapped he up. <laughs> Bro, he has like some... Melee PS1 <laughs> combos in there, pick combos. Honestly, he's able to get it out. Here come the down tilts as well. Here it comes, the typical one-two up throw into up air. Oh, T is incredible in catching these gyros. He either catches it out or catches it. Yeah, Pac-Man has a very fast forward aerial, as well as, you know, he's a character that revolves around item play. It's in T's blood. He baited but also out. inside T is his... Wadi's robot fist inside of Pac-Man's face. He baited out the grab knowing it comes out really slow, was able to use the down smash out of it. So T doing a really good job. He needs to wall it out. And here comes the tilt to force that higher jump in a really weird situation. But Wadi's able to escape just in time. Oh, they're trading back and forth. So Wadi's got to be careful. But speaking of that, he's fearless at going up for these strings. T is feeling the pressure. But remember what T can do with comebacks. Yeah, Wadi actually landing on the bell right there. Thankfully, it was after he had already hit T with his nuclear, so he's safe. But still something he's going to have to watch out for. Mm -hmm. He's got to watch out for it, definitely. And he tries to delay he delays his recovery, but you can't hold on to that ledge for too long, T. Or else you're going to get hit up with that back air. Yeah, and the back air actually hangs so low, it's actually going to be able to catch him even on the getup for the ledge hold. He's able to survive the back throw, thankfully, and he goes really deep for that. This is the pressure you start to feel, especially with Rob, who can get these easy conversions off that fair. 66%. Already, and he knew he's going to go for the grab. Pile driver right onto there. Yeah, I'm not sure if the gyro would have disrupted some sort of down throw follow up. Maybe that's why he went for the up throw there. Or maybe he doesn't want to stale out just yet. That's a, be a potential thing. That's a potential, too. But Wadi, 188% up tilt, not even Pac-Man's up tilt strong enough to take it. Here comes the down tilt as well. Oh my god, Wadi living at 200%. Oh, the apple soars right above his head. He's willing to drain it out. He goes for it again, okay. and T! T able to come up on the plus of that interaction there. Hectic, hectic stuff. I wasn't even sure what was happening all the way down there in the blast zone. Yeah, but he gets the grab, so here comes the easy conversions, but when able to get much out of the T, he's got a huge hill to climb. He wants to do it, and I love his manipulation of items, but it seems like Wadi is two steps ahead of him every single time. Okay. What are these conversions? He's got his items on lock right now, says, you know, I spend so much time playing with my own items, I get bored, so sometimes I just like to go play with other people's toys, too. Uh-huh, he goes flying into the air, uses the fire shit to cover it, but... Oh, goodness. If that gyro hit him from that hydrant, I would have lost so hard. But that cherry catching his head a little bit. That's going to slip in a little bit. T. He's throwing these cherries left and right. He knows the exact arc of it. He'll be able to clip him out. But Wadi once again catches him out. I have to just going to force Wadi off. It does still sit easily knowing things like that nail will kill. 
at 190%. Wadi gonna take us to like game number three here. Oh, this is winner's quarters. This is mm -hmm. in top 16. Okay, this is, I, this I is... thought this was in pool still. I was. Oh, no. I was. I would be confused. surprised, yeah. No, impressive play from Wadi and great adaptation by him. We, I talked about T's adaptation, but Wadi, game number two, yeah. it, bringing it back a full 180 swing. So T, hopefully he's got something in mind or else Wadi's going to take this set. Yeah, and that was a very convincing game from Wadi too. It wasn't even a last shot, last hit type situation. He was at two. Mm -hmm. He was a dominating so well. He was able to really control the match. So hopefully we get to see something out. FD, Wadi versus T in the last game. Here comes the projectile play immediately coming in from there, but T using his aerials as well. The Nair out of shield is such a good option on Pac-Man. Really able to manipulate that, but here we go. T with the projectiles coming in. Oh, what? And T with a zero to death to start this game number three off. We were talking about adaptation. How much more can you have? That hurt me right in the chest. An amazing zero to death from T. Oh, good. I think he heard me. He's just like, yeah, you're talking about Wadi's adaptation. Let me give you a zero to that to show you all exactly what I can do. I'm going to show you exactly why I took second at Switch Fest. He's able to get these item conversions off. Wadi, he's left a little confused at this point, but he can't let it get to his head. Oh, goodness. I guess this counter pick is really working in T's favor. Yeah, right now, he's just making all the use of this stage right now. Even from the other side, he's got these projectiles going out. I love the choice to go with our destination here because Wadi has nowhere to land and escape any sort of steps that he's going for. And do remember the fact that the blast zones on FD are a little interesting as well, so definitely be careful because that S-Smash hit him hard, but he's actually able to get hit up by two different projectiles at once. That, Wadi. That looks Great response from Wadi, but he's already staying at 135. He's almost a full stock down. Mm -hmm. He's got to get some kind of conversion down right now. Laser going out, but unable to find anything. He down tilts it away, but 7% only. He's got to get something down on T, or else T is going to look for conversion of his own. Back here doesn't kill just yet, though. Oh. All right, that was a scary situation. If I'm Wadi, an actual just great stall right there with the hydrant lance at the back as well, and that's a strong move. Okay, you saw that. That uh, trampoline? Uh huh. He just put it right under where Wadi's gonna respawn. Says, "I'm gonna stall out your entire invincibility there, yeah. and then keep hitting you." It's the it's the rush or spring effect that Sonic and Mega yeah. Man players use, but this time it's actually two is able to use it, and this is an entirely different T we're seeing. He's on fire right now, and he actually uses the item from collecting them to get away from it. And here comes the Galaga, but this time it gets canceled out. Wadi striking back with arrows of his own. He's got to get something down. Air no air dodge available. Wadi recognizing from that low, he's obviously going to have to trampoline back up. He's not going to be able to spike him because if he does so, he'll just trampoline up anyways and be safe. Oh my god, T! He just F smashed him directly into the face. Oh my goodness, T! They come out of nowhere! He's so good, dude. They, come, they literally come out of nowhere.